Welcome to the new Capitola Library. It's open. Come on in. I'll show you around. The Capitola Library was designed by Nolan Tam Architects, who designed it for a California coastal town to look like a wooden boat. And when you come in and see it, you'll see what I mean. We're here in the foyer where there is a wonderful Capitola Historical Museum interpretive cabinet that will be filled with various collections of Capitola memorabilia. And on my left are the are two of the four checkout, automatic checkouts that we'll have in the library. One of the things people wanted most in this library was a fireplace, and we got one. Comfortable seating around, periodicals to read, newspapers, a nice place to sit and chat on a cold day, a warm day, just the best. Now, follow me back into the librarian's headquarters, where they're busy at work putting it all together for the opening. You can see from all the activity here that they're getting ready for the opening. Books are everywhere, boxes are everywhere, and it's pretty darn exciting. To my right is the book, one of the book drops. There are mobile book drops outside, but there's also a book drop on the front of the building. And so here's where all the books come in. They get sorted, they get put on these shelves to go out to the other branches for requests. I'm in one of our small workroom, study room, private rooms in the library. This is the McDonald Reading Room. It overlooks the Rissman Estate, the oak trees, and is a really nice, quiet place to have a meeting. Now you're in the main reading room. This is where all of the stacks are located, where the librarian's desk is located, and several meeting rooms are off of the right side. You'll notice the ceiling. It was designed to look like the underside of a wooden boat. All lighting here will be natural lighting most days because floor-to-ceiling windows on the east and south side of the building and all clear story windows on the west side of the building so that natural light comes in at all times. Here we are in the teen room designed so that you can see them but you can't hear them. There are 12 stationary computers in this new library and several laptops that you'll be able to check out, re work inside the library and on the deck that you'll see in just a little while. Here, here is the librarian's desk. It was built so that they can see just about everything that's going on in this library. It's really important. Today, security in today's libraries is very important. And they can see just about everything that's going on. And here we are in the largest of our work study rooms. It's set up for a sewing class or a laser burning class. Just about anything you want to do, you can do in this room. And now we're in the very back of the library. This library was designed so that the areas in the front are for the most, the loudest activity. The activity that will be bustling, people will be dropping their kids off, picking them up, saying hi to friends. And the further back you get into the library, it gets quieter and quieter. So this very back part is for nice, quiet reading, uh, chatting quietly with a friend, and overlooking the Rispin Estate. We all think this is going to be the most popular place in the library. And adjacent to the Rispin Overlook area is the Reading Nook, another quiet area where people can study, read, or sit contemplatively in, in quiet in this library. This library was designed for maximum flexibility. In today's world, libraries are many things to many people. And so designing a library means that you want it to grow with the community. You want it to be available to people for all kinds of uses. And so here's a room, an area called the gallery. And it's a room that, that is a segue from the adult reading room into the children's wing. And it can be used for book readings, author talks, sitting and chatting. Uh, and it's the one, one place in the middle of this building that goes from one side of the building into the other side. So follow me into our children's wing. 
This is one of many rooms equipped with light tubes. During the day, it is a clear story that, clear, that natural light comes in and no lighting, extra lighting is needed. The artwork on the ceiling are corrugated painted leaves. This room was meant to look like the outside was coming into the inside and slowly as you get further and further into the building, it becomes a normal building. So you'll see that there's a little bit of green spread into the carpeting down below, green furniture. You feel like you're indoor-outdoor in this children's wing. Two little reading nooks for the kids provide a nice, quiet little spot for them to tuck in and read a book. And one of our other small group study rooms today is set up for Tales to Tales. Communities need places to meet, and Capitola is no exception. We have very few places for the public to meet. So this was one thing that during our workshops, our community workshops, people said they really wanted was a community room. And we got one, and this one is a beaut. It's large, it has a beautiful, huge screen for screening. It has whiteboards, smart boards. It has a kitchenette, storage. It's a place that will be full of happy community members from the day this library opens. This community really stepped forward for our capital campaign. We raised over $575,000 in almost Capitola alone, which is really something. And this wall represents our donors. It's very important to us. Please, when you come in the library, take a look. And when you see these people and you see these businesses that contributed, thank them for us. And our capital campaign ran a very successful paver program. So when you come into the library, before you go in, take a look down and see if you can see any of your friends who contributed to the library through buying a paver. And right off the community room in the children's wing is our community porch. Because it's right off of our tot lot. So parents will be able to sit on our porch and watch their children play and then go in and read books. It's just an ideal location.